it it wouldn't have been the healthiest thing for me to watch and to kind of witness like and experience the pain that I think would have came from just being like okay yeah yeah like I'll just stick this out or I'll just kind of like let you do your thing or let you figure some things out I was like I, I think the way that maybe we needed to grow was a part uh, like had to be kind of separate and I was, was like I was talking about this other day like we're we're cool like there's no bad blood between us and it's still a lot very much a lot of love there like love for for each other for I'm sure. not like romantic love yeah. all my money <laughs> I see for myself um but just kind of me kind of recognizing that like the things that he needed to grow through was maybe something that had to be a part for me yeah. and me just accepting that you know, sometimes people can't come with you mm-hmm. um, on the trajectory of where your life was going. I, I felt like our trajectories were going in very different directions. And it was like me being like, no, no, I want you to come up with me. But it's like somebody's not, they're not meeting you on that. They're not seeing it. They're not seeing themselves. It's like, you know, I think sometimes it's like divine intervention kind of has to come into place and things just kind of have to be apart. And I think it's better for both of us, I think just for us to be able to grow mm-hmm. apart, and, you know, be kind of separate. So. Mm-hmm. So do you believe, so do you believe in, cause a lot of times people talk about, we grew apart. Mm-hmm. Do, so you do, you are a believer in that. I never really was because oh. I kind of, when I used to hear that, I'd be like, well, that's not really a reason to like, into marriage you know because I I just kind of be like what does that even mean um but now when I think about like the idea of like growing apart it's like something something somewhere was probably neglected in some area of that relationship or that marriage because if you're allowing yourselves to grow apart in marriage some need somewhere is not getting met or some communication, some conversation is not being had. Um, maybe somebody is growing or maybe outgrowing the relationship and someone is staying stagnant or staying the same or not working on themselves or whatever the case is. And that can cause, you know, some rifts, some, mm, cause we are always changing. Like as people, as individuals, we are always evolving into new people that doesn't ever change. Mm-hmm. Right. Like I'm not the same person I was when I was 16 or 21 or 25. Mm-hmm. I'm not the same person I was last year, last month. Right. Like we're always evolving and changing. And so I think the idea of growing apart to me still is kind of like, well, well, what were you growing into? Mm-hmm. What were you growing towards? And like, where was this one person going and this other person was going and why couldn't you meet each other in the middle somewhere? Um, those are things that kind of come up for me, but I think just just growing apart, like, oh, we just don't really mesh anymore. I'm like, well, God, I don't know, but I that's me. I have hope for love and reconciliation and like all these things. So like, to me, I'm like, come on now, it can't be that, you know, like, if that's it, then I'm like, well, can that, can we talk about it? Can we work through it? I mean, mm-hmm. you know, can we also accept that and know that people do change over time, yes. but yes. you know, why did you choose this person in the first place? You must've saw something that said, I'm willing to grow with you and be with you for years and forever. So mm-hmm. like, what, what was that? But mm-hmm. I think yeah, and there's two things I want to extract from that because you said some powerful things. One of them was I heard someone say when men get married, they expect they expect the woman to say stay the same. The woman is in hopes of that he would change. Mm. <laughs> so you're kind of like missing each other or these yeah. these these unsaid expectations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then there was something else that you said that I think was really powerful. You talked about if you grew apart, where was there any direction that y'all were supposed to be going in the first place? Mm-hmm. So I thought that was good. So do you think that, are you saying that, and correct me if I'm wrong, because what I'm hearing is there's not a vision for the home. 
That's what I'm getting from it. Where Where is that piece of unity, right? Because we can grow as individuals. We're always going to do that. But mm -hmm. there's also that will be like, okay, how are we intentionally growing together? And how are we intentionally keeping this home unified? Um, there's, there's that missing piece. And that kind of comes back to, okay, if we're growing apart, where there's that missing communication, that missing maybe emotional need or whatever it is that's that's not aligned for you to recognize that or to see that or to see that something's missing and then it just kind of continues and continues and continues until there's a complete breakdown. So yeah, that's like not not really being intentional about where that middle space can go in and actually trying to just, you know, have those conversations, talk about expectations, talk about talk about those things. Mm -hmm. That is so good. That's good. So what are some things that a married couple could do to to grow together in your mind? What do you think are some things? Um, I think 